right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kick this off. Nick Tuma. Nick's watching already. Thank you for tuning in. Hey guys. Was it my hair that, that lured you in on the ad I put on Facebook? That hair? Oh, no, I hope not. Oh, hey. oh, oh, Penny, what are you doing? I hit the wrong button. Yeah. We're there. We're there. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Midnight Movie. Midday's Mayhem. Um, hope you're enjoying your lunch. We're going to try to have some laughs and have some you fun. you the Midday's Mayhem? Huh? It is Midday's. Two guys. Mid Mayhem. Him. Mayor. Mayhem. It is Mayhem with an I. Because of two guys. Well, I'm going to tell I. you, I actually wished it wasn't Midday's Mayhem, but Joel named us that. And yeah, it's all Joel's fault. When I type it up, it's it's hard to spell like middays and then mayhem. But a lot of people want to call us a middays madness. But I don't want to be that because a lot of people call us middays. We're not mad. No, we're mayhem. Yeah, we're, we're this whole show we're not mad. mad. No, well, so we're pretty we're pretty even keeled. No, we're, pretty, we're pretty nice guys. I gotta get my paper straightened out here. Here we go. All right, well, Big Will. Okay, we were waiting for Will to tune in, right? Ellie! Hey, hey Ellie! Ellie, how you Ellie doing? tuned in, she's not shopping today. Ellie, oh. you're not shopping? Condolences, Will, by the way. Sorry, yes. buddy. Sorry to hear it. Yeah, sorry sorry about that, Will. Oh, condolences that's to your family and everything, but thanks for tuning in today. Um, at, you know, we, I talked about last week, since it's Halloween season, I thought it appropriate that every week we would talk about a different classic monster. Okay, that's when you think of Halloween, that's what you can't think of. So, um, monsters. monsters and ghosts, which usually classic monsters, yeah, yeah, and ghosts and witches and all that. But they don't make like a lot of like you know, like a witch movie with uh, you know, what I mean, like a you don't think about a witch being like a monster. They should do one. What? What's going on, Ellie? Oh. <laughs> Ellie's not a monster. No, no. <laughs> witch? That's is what, Ellie a witch? No. I have to talk to Gary about that. She's a good witch. Yeah. She's, she's a good, good witch. No, Ellie. Hey, just kidding, Ellie. You're very nice. You won't send us no more candy. Yeah, right? You know just we kidding, are. Ellie. We are well, out. You know, if I didn't... Because she'll pick right back, so it's a good thing, you know. Well, she'll pick on everybody, but you yeah. know who. Yeah, except we had a certain guy with the buzz head. Yeah, he had a buzz head. He stole my... Now he's, he wants to be so much like me. Yeah. That Trev is gone and stole my hairdo now. Can you believe it? That's why I had to get that wig. I got, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to get that wig going. That looks pretty cool. I think you should do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been saying it for years. I always tell my wife I want to get that wig. Remember mm. back in the 80s, the guy would wear it. It was like a, looked like a spider. He could swim in it and all that stuff, supposedly. And he came out of the pool and it, it just stayed like, like the bangs. Ellie says she has special talents. Oh yeah, what kind? Is she gonna? Uh, she she's gonna put a hex on me. Special talent. I'll have to talk to Gary about that too. She's got a lot of talents. She can watch crime shows. She can shop. She can go eat at Luigi's down Akron and get in, which I've never been able to even get in down there at Luigi's. You ever go to Luigi's? No, me neither. Because the line is so long, I can't get in. But I think pretty sure that Gary and Ellie get in to Luigi's. The Carol's. Who? The Carol's. Where's that at? Like around Jet Road and Seventy Seven. Where's Jet Road? I go Fairline. Fairline area. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I knew it. Fairline. Because I saw it. There was an Italian place I went to a couple of years ago, and I saw. I didn't go there, but I saw it. And it's all kind of off the main road. It's, yeah. Yeah. And I said that looks like a good. I bet that's the oh, place. Oh, good. Oh. It's so good. it's kind of like uh, like if I'm going if I go to Fairlawn from here and I'm going down the you know you know that main strip yep. it's kind of on this side right somewhere back in there behind all that crap no you'd be on the no it'd be on the right side what's it called Vaqueros Vaqueros okay I'm gonna I'm gonna look yeah I up. see uh well, Ellie Vaqueros pretty good did you go there Ellie Vaqueros no all right. yeah there's a certain carpet company that they now talk about they built to open this store. Next to Vaqueros. Really? Yeah. A carpet company? Yeah, a little carpet company. I'll okay. give them a, no. I'll give Vaqueros a little plug because it's Vaqueros. Yeah, I'll go check them out. Carpet company's got a young lady that, you know, with their family that 
talk about that. That's a family, uh, yeah. family place. A good Italian, though, right? Yeah, it's good. Uh, that sounds good. Hello, Mr. Trevisano. Ah, okay, now Trev's here. Now, hey, Trev, how you enjoying that hairdo, buddy? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Feel that air like winging past your scalp. Feels good, right? <laughs> Man. All right, let's get this kicked off, Denny. Okay. Well, we've been kicked yeah. off. Well, you, wait a minute. No, somebody. Yeah, no, we we have kicked off. We have already kicked off. Couple, let's, let's, make it a let's make shout it out. Let's make it. Let's kick it off with a shout out. Shout, shout out. out to Raven Cashin. I don't know if he's tuning in this week, but he tuned in last week. Raven, Raven. thinking about coming down to the Halloween festival down in Fairborn uh, next weekend. So I'll be uh, I'll be looking for you. I'll be looking for you, buddy. Uh, shout out to Dave Dunlap, that great artist that's been doing all the horror host series. He's been doing it. Yeah. And rumor has it. That might be working on one for us Ooh. very soon. So oh, shout out wow. to Dave Dunlap. If you haven't seen his work, you gotta check it out. He's been doing all the horror hosts. So, uh, and Sean McIntyre that gives us a lot of uh, cool events and infos and stuff like that. Shout out to Sean McIntyre. Um, Hello, Chris. Who's Chris? Chris Cross. Oh, Chris Cross. Is Maybe I might get to see Chris this weekend too for just a few oh, hours. Because yeah, yeah. um, this week is the Monster Bash weekend in uh, Mars, PA. So you guys want to get down there? You can hang out. I'll be there. Big smile on, like this. Big cheesy smile. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll be there. Um, he will. Will. Hope just be yeah. patient. Who? Well, okay, will's will. got a question. And oh, okay. Well, you know, you know, you'll, you'll be talking about it soon enough. All right. Let's launch right into the top 10 werewolf movies as determined by IMDb.com. That's right. Top 10 werewolf movies. Um, some of these I've heard of. Most of them I've heard of. A couple I haven't. And this is top 10 via the... IMDb.com. IMDb. Week. Yeah, they're top. They had the top 25. But I only took the top 10. Um, I usually use Ranker, but Ranker... Didn't give me like the. Didn't give you werewolves? It didn't give me. It gave me werewolves, but it gave me like the ranking. So oh, why are you called ranker and you don't rank them? I don't know. So I had to go oh, with Ian. Maybe it's because it's more of the smell and not the name. Because they rank? Yeah, rank. It could be. Yeah. But, anyways, this is IMDb. So, well. IMDb. Come on, Trip. Put your word in. Werewolf movie. Werewolf movie. And I know there's one on here. I know there's one on here that as soon as I say it, that Trip's gonna. He's gonna be spouting off. All right. But number 10 is called Weir, W-E-R, Weir, 2013. W-E-R? W-E-R, that's all it is, 2013. A lawyer, a defense lawyer, must defend a client that is charged with murdering a whole family on a, fa on a family vacation. But she starts to suspect that her client just may be a werewolf. I never heard of that one. Never heard of it. So I don't know if it's like this, like well, a bunch of talk. Well, that's not so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it doesn't have any. Well, it didn't have any name. I looked, it didn't have any good like names in it either. So, no Clint Eastwood or Burt mm -hmm. Reynolds. What if we could show it? Um, I don't know. I mean, Our don't main know. show, the Midnight Movie, the yeah. Midnight which we could show a movie. We look at the giant screen we got. The only thing we show is our ugly bugs on there. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy of Joel the Mouse Wilhelm from the Google Show. Number nine. Number nine. Silver Bullet from 1985. You remember that one. Yeah. Uh, a paraplegic boy is convinced the brutal killings in a small town are the work of a werewolf. That's a pretty good movie back in the day. I, I, was that, I think it was that. I, was not, I remember the name. I remember I watched it. But that's about all I remember of it. Yeah. I think it was based on a, on a Stephen King. I'm not sure though, but, but I think it is. And you know, most Stephen King adaptations are... For some reason. The books are good. They just can't make a good movie out of it. I don't know. But anyways. Number eight. Uh, here's what I didn't hear of. Bad Moon. Bad Moon. Bad Moon. Bad Moon. Horizon. Huh? Bad Moon, Bad Moon Horizon. Yeah. Bad Moon that Horizon. was a good movie too. Bad Moon Horizon. Uh, 1996. A man is attacked in the jungle by a mysterious beast. We know it's a werewolf, right? Uh, upon returning home... He comes home and he's like, Oh my god, I got attacked by this beast. I gotta find a cure. What's going on with me? Uh, the man's sister invites him to live with her and her son, but after some gruesome deaths occur nearby, she suddenly suspects that her brother is a werewolf. Oh my gosh, it's her yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. 
That was called uh, Bad Moon, 1996. Okay. That was number? That was number eight. Number eight. Down to number seven. Number seven, one of Chris Cross's all-time favorite films. All-time favorite movie. He just watches it whenever he can. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. <laughs> right, Chris? One of Allegedly, your favorites? possibly, we don't, want, don't know for sure, but might be true. I know it's true. Ooh. It's damn true. No, yeah. he, he doesn't like this movie at all, actually. He, he cannot make it. He well, cannot get those oh, you're being through. facetious. Yeah, right? I mean, facetious. Because just last week he was posting it. He says, I cannot get through this movie. And then we were kind of joking back and forth. Yeah, I like that werewolf mask, by the way. The way it looks in there. Oh, thanks. The head of the werewolf. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, he's got some eyeballs in there, too. I yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh, well, thank uh, you. You don't even see down here. Look at this. What I got here. Uh, look at that little tiny. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A little keychain. A little actual oh, universal cool. uh, Lon Chaney. As the world of keychain. It's there. Cross has a uh, SH or SMA shaking his head. Shaking a little head. emoji uh, yeah. throw up. Uh, well, anyways, uh, number five. Number number six. Six. Well, I just got to tell you what, number, number seven, I got to tell you what it's about. Some people didn't see it. Okay. Maybe. A reanimated Lawrence Talbot. Remember Lawrence Talbot, and he's the famous Wolfman. He's the he's the Wolfman. He's always that trying to die and stuff. Well, he seeks out Doctor Frankenstein to help him die. He wants to die. He realizes he cannot die, so he wants to die. He wants to get rid of this curse. So he tries to find Doctor Frankenstein, but Doctor Frankenstein has passed away, unfortunately. But his doctor that's helping him becomes obsessed with becoming like the new Doctor Frankenstein, particularly when. The real Frankenstein is discovered frozen in a block of ice in a basement of the old place. No. Yeah. So Frank's there, okay? And so then the, the Frankenstein and the Wolfman, he's trying to use uh, the Wolfman's energy then to make Frankenstein more powerful. And then a fight ensues. The place starts blowing up. The dam breaks. And before the fight's even decided or even really gets started, the water comes and washes them all away. And that's the end. You don't know... Oh, no well, good. I don't have to watch it then. No, but but you know what? That's it Bama. Bama. Bama I'm with Chris on that one. It sounded horrible. No, it's good. It's one of my favorites. It's oh. one of my favorites. And you know why? Oh, because they find why? I got you, Chris. It, but will uh -huh. because they find Frankenstein frozen in a block of ice. It's cool. Okay. But now, now remember, I said this. Bela Lugosi played Frankenstein in this one. Okay. Remember, I said that. All right. Here before you. Uh, it says, before I have to check out and load up my truck, Who's that? shout out to the Monster Channel for having us on Monday starting at 10 p.m. with a new show. Followed at midnight with an older classic show, Midnight Movie Double Dose, every Friday, every Monday night on the Monster Channel. Check it out, Monster Channel. I'm glad he said that because I was wanting to put that in my thing tonight, but I couldn't find the information about when we were on. We're Thanks, back sir. to back on the Monster Channel. You guys, back to back. you got to tune into the Monster Channel, okay? They did double on Mondays. And the Monster Channel's got a Halloween horror um, film festival going on right now, too. Uh, amongst all the other stuff that they do, they got this cool Halloween horror film festival going on. So go to Monster Channel and, and check all the stuff, and you can check us out. Back to back. See, people are deciding now. They know. Yeah. we got to be back to back. Monster Channel has stepped up on us. They have, they have. So There's another channel that hasn't them. so much. Yeah, but hey, I got information well, on that too. Yeah, we won't talk um, about that. Well, we might. Maybe. But okay. number six. Number six. Night of the Wolf. Night? 2014. Is that K N I G H T or just N I G H T? N I G H T. Night. You know, okay. so like darkness. Yes, but Late some night. people like us, simpletons, might even say it's N I T E. Yeah, but it's not. It's night. Yeah, if night of the night. Wolf. Which makes sense, because the wolf can only turn into a werewolf at night, right? Oh. Uh, a grizzled veteran. Grizzled. I knew you were going to hop grizzled. on that word. Grizzled. grizzled. That's what it said. A grizzled veteran uncovers oh, what the residents of a secluded retreat community are hiding after deadly beasts attack from the forest. Oh. That was hard to write that, because the way they had it written was even worse than the way I have it written. This grizzled veteran. That takes it. Figures Hell. out what these residents at this retirement community or whatever. Yeah, retirement community. So they're a bunch of old people turning into wolves. So that's what I'm supposed to be, you know. So, but, but here's a question. If an old person, okay, if say a real old person turns into a werewolf, will their teeth fall out? Will they have any 
wolf dentures? Right? Or would they be a toothless wolf? Good question. Good question. I need, exactly. I need answers. So questions like that deserve answers. This is from IMDB Triv. And hello, Doug Sternick. Doug Sternick's watching my bro from another mother. Doug Sternick. Yep. The man with the Polish beer. That's him. All right. Hi, Doug. And one of my West Tech uh, alumni as well. Yeah. So that makes me, Doug Sternick, and Vern, West Tech alumni. I like saying that Vern, Vern was a West Tech. Anyways, for a little while. Uh, number five. Okay, we're halfway in. Halfway in. Number five. Number five, of course. Number five. This the Wolfman. <laughs> uh, Ellie says where have werewolves have great dental plans. They do. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for the information. Fangs. Yeah. Fang, fang, fangs. Fangs for the, fangs oh, for the information. Good. Yes, we're all, yes, Trip. Best werewolf films. Yes. Round number five. Number five. The Wolfman. The original Universal. Larry Talbot kicks it all off. Universal original. Uh, Fangs for the information, Ellie. Now she's used to corny jokes from Gary. Oh, yeah, Get that's it? true. Oh, that's good. See how I do that? <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I don't know if it's that's good. good. Yeah. All right, number four. Here number it is. Four. Here it is. Triv, listen up before you go back to work. Dog Soldiers, 2002. Isn't that one of your movies, Triv, that you're always ranting about? Dog Soldiers? A British military squad on a training mission is hunted by werewolves. And they actually use dancers uh, to do the werewolves in this, so they would have elegant movements, like a wolf, like yeah. a oh, majestic yeah. wolf. The dog man, the dog soldiers, I think that's one that Trip Branson raised about. Well, uh, he, he, he's listed some here. And uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? He, he disappeared. He's he playing. It came up and it disappeared. He's playing the invisible boy. May he changed his mind. Maybe he knows better than to yeah. wade into that. Whatever, they had dog soldiers and silver bullet. Okay. Silver bullet, yeah, so, silver bullet. Yeah, I don't mind. know what happened to the rest of it. it well, that's his reading? Oh, well, no, he just spotted off some of them. Yeah. I think those other ones trip will be coming up. Well, number three, The Howling. Can't the Howling. Howling. That 1981. Had. A television newswoman recovering from a bizarre attack by a serial killer. So you got a serial killer. Is sent to a remote. Um, wow. What's that? A mountain. Serial mountain. Yeah, I, I was slow on that one. Serial, serial killer? killer. Yeah, I was serial. slow. On, yeah. yeah, serial killer. Dawn would be like that. Um, where she finds. Well, I wrote this last night. I can't read this. Find the resonance to be werewolves. I wrote this last night, and I can't read some of my own writing. That's crazy. All right, but right. that was number three. Number three. Okay. Number two. Ginger snaps from two thousand. Ginger snaps. Two weird sisters must deal with the consequences when one of them is bitten by a werewolf. And the cool thing about this movie is in 2000, okay, the director would allow no CGI. So all the makeups are, are um, practical effects, prosthetics, hands-on stuff. No oh. camera spunkiness like that. So that's pretty number cool. Number two? Ginger snaps. That was number two. Ginger snaps. Never heard of it. Never, never heard, heard, heard of it. I heard of it. I never watched it. Uh, now, everybody's going to guess. What's number one? You've got to know it. Give me a guess, somebody out there. Well, I'm waiting. Trip, trip, right there. That's all right. That's right, Trip. Number one, an American werewolf in London. Got to be. 1981. Two American college students are attacked by a werewolf. Comedy and horror ensues. Uh, this movie won Best Makeup by Rick Baker, won an Oscar, okay? Then it won a bunch of other awards. Best Horror Film, uh, Best Actress, Best Makeup Again. These are Saturn Awards. And the director was John Landis, who went on to do The Twilight Zone and a few things like that. But Twilight Zone was kind of his, he did Oct Octoman, was one of his original movies. But when he did Twilight Zone and that whole incident with the helicopter happened, he kind of... Yeah, you know, that scene with the girl was pretty hot. She was cute. We've seen. Oh, yeah. and American Horror. American oh, Horror. Jenny Gutter. She was cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah. So, anyways, that's your top top ten uh, werewolf movies to turn by IMDb.com. Now, I looked at a couple other ones there. A few changes here. Oh, there's there. one trip says the uh, what is says it? it was missing Wolfen. Wolfen. Well, that wasn't in the, that was on the list, but it's not in the top whatever. Here's a couple. Ten, Here's a couple uh, I no, tossed Ginger in. Snaps. Ginger Snaps. Here's a couple I tossed in just because they were goofy. 
I give them, I give them one called honorable mentions. How about this one? It's called Wolf Guy. Wolf Guy, 1975. It stars our man. Okay, we can probably show this because it's got Sonny Chiba. <gasps> yeah, Whoa. Sonny Chiba. Sonny Chiba. He is a cop that uses his wolf powers gained by being the sole survivor of a clan of werewolves to solve mysterious crimes. He is plunged into a conspiracy that features crooked politicians. Here's a good one. Naked white women. And uh, a phantom tiger and a shady, secret, shadowy, secret organizations. Sonny Chiba. Oh, we can. As a werewolf. Yeah, we're, I hope. Yeah, yeah we got. Hey, Doc, how you doing? We can have Brock on that one. Yeah, Doc's on. Hey, Doc's Doc. on. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Hey, Doc. Doc, come head down to the monster bash. I'm gonna be hanging out with the Doc. I'm gonna get some treatments from the Doc this weekend. It's a graveyard smash. It's a graveyard smash. It's always a smash and a blast when you're hanging out with. Doc and Bucky, we're going to have a good time. Um, but that was one of my picks. And here's one, just because Jack Nicholson is in it. Wolf, 1994. Jack Nicholson as a werewolf. It's Jack Nicholson as a werewolf. Okay. He was a joker. He was a werewolf. He's, you know, whatever. Jack Nicholson can do whatever he wants. I'd like to see a Jack Nicholson Frankenstein. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Would you imagine that? Be like too a small. Real, real, huh? He's too small. I mean, they do stuff to him. They do stuff to him. Okay, and here's one that I just tossed out there because it's a classic. Oh, you know, oh, go ahead, finish up. Werewolf on Wheels, 1971, a biker movie with werewolves. Oh, oh. No, you know what? I just I'm the all the movies out there. Yeah. You know what? I wonder if there ever been weird thought popped into Denny's head. The uh, okay. you know little people as a werewolf, Ooh. Frankenstein, mummy. Ooh, good good question. Good question. Hey, you know, I, just, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's I'm, gonna, I'm I'm going to note that for next week. Small people horror movies, basically yeah. monsters. I'm yeah. sure there have. I kind of remember something like that. I'm going to look that one up. That's interesting. <laughs> so we got a small. We got to talk to Rocco about showing the uh, wolf guy. Yeah, Shiny Chiba. Shiny Chiba. It's yeah. 1975. That's right up our alley. Yeah, that's Rocco. Go down in the vault, see if it's down in there. Uh, and how about Fred this says one? there is one. What? The little people? Well, I think Doc. there is, Doc. What is it? What's the name of it? Little Monsters or something? Come on. Yeah. Let us know. He'll find out. Doc, Doc yeah, knows yeah. how to. He'll find out. Um, how about this? Uh-oh. This, uh -oh. What? Uh-oh. What? Oh, yeah. what? You got me excited. Mm -hmm. Pinto's checked in. Our oh. Connecticut connection. Master Pinto's on? Master Pinto. What's he got? He said it's a movie called Creeps. Creeps? With the little people? That's called what, Creeps? That's what, that's what, I'm going to write that down. That's what's uh, it's coming from Master I'm write that down. Creeps. Little people. All right, I'll check it. You think that's right, Doc? Creeps? Sound right? Because the Doc knows. He reviews movies all the time. He watches so many movies. If anybody knows, he'll know. That's the Lisa, too, out there, Mark. Yeah. Hi, guys. That's Mrs. Grand I know that. Hi, guys. I haven't heard from Mark. That was kind of messing with him. He must be busy. Hey. Busy, busy. He's looking at me and going, Denny, Denny, Denny. Uh oh. Denny, Denny. no. <laughs> Denny. Denny. Are you serious? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to take it over from him. I don't. Wow. All right. All right. There, I give this an honorable <laughs> mention. Now, this list is going to look like the, the face off does. Chris. What? What do you mean? I don't know. Nobody's arguing with me, just myself. Yep, Dr. Ed confirms little people playing monsters. Okay. All right. The t a team, this is a TV show. show. I don't know. No, that's not, just the name of it sounds too modern for us. Um, how about the TV show Werewolf? I've talked about it before. 29 episodes from 1987 1988. It was one of the original shows on the Fox, Fox Network. When Fox Network, Fox Network just came on. Yeah. That was one of the original shows. The college student tries to rid himself of his werewolf curse. He has a were, you know, werewolf curse by finding and killing the originator of the bloodline, a drifter named, now check this out, Janice Scorzini, played by Chuck Connors. I don't know if I said that right, but Janice Scorzini, I remember that. Played by Chuck Connors in his last TV role, okay? He is also being chased by a bounty hunter named Alamo Joe Rogan. Not the, oh, not the uh, yeah, USC no, it's Alamo, media no. guys. Yes. Yeah, it's this one from Texas. Yeah, Alamo yeah. Joe, played by Lance DeGault, 
who also, if you is remember, he related to Charles? Charles de Gaulle. That's de Gaulle. This is de Gaulle. T with the T. Oh. Just like my name is Richie with the T. Okay? And an IE. And an IE. But if you remember Lance de Gaulle, he also played a bounty hunter in the A team. He was chasing the A team around. But then he went to chase this guy around. But if you check this off, the name Janice Scorzenzi was a tip of the hat to the vampire from the movie The Night Stalker with Carl Kolchak and the Night Stalker. That was the same name the vampire in Night Stalker had, Janice mm -hmm. Scorzenzi. Well, or whatever. So it's like a tidbit, right? Pinto there. says he saw that series, by the way. He said that's very it's good. A good series, right? As a matter of fact, I wonder if I can get it like on YouTube or something and watch it again. No doubt. So I don't know if I think I missed a few episodes, but that was good. Okay, now. Here a couple of random things. Somebody asked me once, "Hey, Rich." They didn't, they didn't really ask me about it. They said, "Rich, did Bella Lugosi ever play a werewolf? Because we know he played Frankenstein, right? We know he played Igor, and he played Dracula, and he was a mad scientist. Did he ever play a werewolf?" Well, the answer is not really, but he was a very wolfish creature. When he played the Sayer of the Law in Island of Lost Souls. So he's kind of like a, a wolf creature in the Island of Lost Souls. He was Soul. high bred? Yeah, I don't know how high his bread was. Could be. Allegedly. Possibly. Could be true. We don't know for sure. Yeah, we don't know if he's a wolf. Allegedly. Allegedly. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe. We don't know for sure, but could be true. There you go, Trev. I got it. Well, if you ever want to see a good movie, too, Island of Lost Souls with Charles Laughlin. Very good film. And uh, um, I actually did an article an article about the Island of Lost Souls many, many, many years ago that appeared in Scary Monsters magazine. I don't know which issue, but um, I did an article on the film Island of Lost Souls. So if you're a Scary Monsters magazine collector, like me, uh, look it up. This is about whew, 15 years ago. So maybe longer than that, probably. I did an article. Okay, here's another question. Did Boris Karloff ever play a werewolf? We know he played Frankenstein. We know that, right? We know he played Frankenstein. He played mad scientists. He played the mummy. Did he ever, do you think he ever played a werewolf? Yeah, somewhere. Okay. Well, actually, he didn't play a werewolf, but... In the Rosemary Clooney Variety Show in 1957, oh, he did play the big bad wolf. He the played, big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. So big that's wolf. a wolf man, right? Yeah. So well, No, it's a wolf. There's well, Yeah, but it's, it's a big bad wolf. So it's kind of a wolf. It wasn't a wolf a man. man, it was a so wolf. So check that out. See, so when you ask us, wait, I go in depth. I go beyond page one of Wikipedia. I go all the way to page two. And I find the facts. So there you go, a little known tidbit for you. Oh, oh, Charles Band, that's right, I did remember it, Charles Band the Creeps. Very good, very good. The little, little people. Oh, that's sort of cool. I wonder what, I wonder why, why they were, uh, how come Big Blue has made it? There he is, I didn't look at him. Danny, Danny DeVito is a werewolf. Then what? Where's Danny DeVito as a werewolf? Um, he was a penguin. Yeah, he was a penguin. Uh, okay. So that's oh, and one last little thing here since we're talking about Wolfman. Yeah. How about how about the radio DJ Wolfman Jack? Okay. Oh. That's a famous Wolfman. That his name was Robert Weston Smith. Okay. He was over three decades as a top rock and roll DJ. Okay. Um, he had that raspy voice and the howls like Denny just did. Oh. Do it again. There you go, Denny. Uh, and Denny's voice gets raspy after he does a few voices here and there, right, Denny? Yeah, it does. Um, Basically, Alan Freed from Cleveland, all right, he called Alan himself Freed. the Moondog, right? The Moondog. The Moondog. Moon and he was based, he based his name on a street musician from New York called Moondog. So Alan Freed took that. Well, um, you know, um, what's his name? Robert Smith, alias Wolfman Jack, he got his inspiration uh, <clears throat> from a blues man called Howlin' Wolf, a blues man. So like, you know, Mike Onesco's blues man? Yeah. This blues man name is Howlin' Wolf. Howlin', and it's not even with the G. It's so cool. It's one of those with the things. The Howlin', Howlin' Wolf. So he took the wolf from that. Okay, plus he loved horror films. And I think he loved the wolf man. So he took that, and he took the last name Jack, because Jack was a famous, like a good lingo 
uh, name they used back in the hipster lingo in the 50s. So he became Wolfman Jack, okay? Now, oh. here's, here's, here's where it gets a little funny. I thought this was funny. Okay. Uh, during his long career, three, over three decades as a DJ, he advertised a lot of products, okay? He did dog food, okay? Weight loss products. Who's this? Wolfman Jack. Wolfman. Focus. 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 I'm sorry, I was, Focus. I was doing some research. He's, got, he's, re side. he's researching right in the middle of the show. He researched before the show, Denny, but that's okay. I didn't know what was going on. Well, I, you know, I mean, I'm being normal. I'm just raving. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being high. normal. Am I in a. Am I in Go a, ahead, keep going. In silence? Keep going. Wolfman Jack also advertised rose bushes, even baby chickens. He would like to advertise all this stuff, right? But, you know, my voice is going. My voice is getting raspy. He also did a pill, a little pill called Florex, okay, and it was a enhance your sex drive pill, okay, and here's what the slogan oh. was, exactly, that's what he would do, and then here's the slogan he would say, he'd go, ow, do da ow, then he would say, some zing for your ling nuts, oh. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but some zing for your ling nuts. You know what's pretty funny? What? You use that? No, we're talking oh. about, you start talking about a pill, yeah. talking about zing and nuts, yeah. and Miss Childers zoomed in. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Yeah, I, well, I think it's Wolfman. You turned, in, turned the perfect time here, you're yeah, talking about nuts. Nice. Sorry, Amanda. I, I was, was just saying what, yeah, I was just saying what his famous quote was on that. The Wolfman, this is the Wolfman. Wolfman Jack said, get some zing for your lean nuts using Florex. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. I can't find it. Oh, all right. Okay. So that was uh, a lot of stuff that I had. Okay. Now, of course, we like to get into what's coming on, what's going on this weekend. And what is days. going on this weekend? Well, tonight, Besides Monster Bash. Tonight, yeah, Monster Bash is this weekend, Friday, Saturday. It's actually starting tonight if you get there early. you got stuff going on even tonight. Doc is going to be there tonight. So mm -hmm. they got stuff going on tonight, but it officially opens tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be a good time. But Finding Bigfoot, I talked about it last week. Well, tonight's the night. You can go and see, um, oh, wait. Oh, what? I can't go see that. I missed it. <laughs> I know oh, it was Thursday. No. Oops. That yeah. was Monday. It's the 20th. you got to go to the next one. Yeah, the next one you see is November 6th. Why did I think it was on Thursday? Well, the Norton Library is having a Bigfoot series, so anyways, we missed most of it by now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So screw that. Never mind. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go tonight. I was thinking about yeah. driving out there tonight, and I'd look like a total idiot. Yeah. Wait for yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, sometimes right. the obvious doesn't need no, sound. Yeah. Okay, okay, here's what we're going to do. Okay, stuff coming up. Look, I even listen to Jim M's watching. Who? Jim M. Jim M. Jim Moravchik. Yep. Moravchik. That's how you say it. And Jim, here's the guy right here. Hey, Denny, do we accept um, checks? No. Yeah. Yes. We, yes, we do, Jim. We do accept, accept checks for our, our... As long as they're not rubber. Yeah. So you might have to wait. It's a few days to so check clears and we sip the stuff out. But if you're interested in teaching... Yeah, reach out to me, Jim. Big Den T. Okay. Go on the uh, Midnight Movie dot net. Look for Big Den T. Contact him. This is the man that handled the merch. All right. And he'll set you Jim, up. Jim, what town are you in? He's if right you don't mind saying. He's right around here. Right? All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Reaching out. Uh, but, Denny, what do we have? We have hats. We have hats, we have shirts, we have the new shirt that says possibly, maybe, I don't know, shirt for sure, yeah. on the back. Those are limited Red shirts, edition. black shirts with the midnight movie, yeah. the yeah. gray shirts with the little, you know, 25th, little 25th anniversary on the front with the, the back. you know, allegedly, possibly, we, I mean, got, we got mugs. We got mugs with our mugs on them. Okay. Yeah. We got posters. We got posters. We puzzles. Got puzzles. Um, um, we got, you know, we got the D that I don't have it up here. I don't know what happened to it. Somebody walk off of it. We have the DVD with the, the skit DVD, um, all kinds of goodies. Okay, we got we got one thing we do not have. Why we don't have is polo shirts. We don't have polo shirts. We haven't had polo shirts. Now you see us wearing them, but we've ordered those special for yeah. Those are the guys of the polos. show. Yeah, those are official um, uniforms. Man, then we can talk. Yeah, I might be able to work something out. Okay. Yeah, so we might have to get you one polo shirt. 
I might I have ordered some new ones anyway. So yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, uh, so do I. So you know, we might be ordering some yeah. new ones. So yeah. we might. Huh. The wheels are spinning. Yeah. Look at those wheels. Like. Uh, I, I think. The wheels are spinning. Yeah. We'll see what we can. All do. right. Here's some things that you can do. Might okay. do some special orders. Special so orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Coming to your home every Sunday night at midnight. Oh, we're in so many homes. So many, yeah, we're in so many ways you can watch us. Yeah. We, we, we're in so many homes that we should, you know, it should be illegal. We're back to back on a monster channel. We're back to back on Cox well, Cable. You know, and a lot of them were in during nighttime. We're in your yeah. home during the night. Yeah. 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 We're in bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but you can watch it so many different ways. The Max Channel, Tingler Television. Tingler Television, I know, I know. They promised me, though, that if they claim everything in a Roku, they say they're switching to a different service. So hopefully things get straightened out on the Tingler Television. Because I did give them Block 4 this past week. I said, Block 4 is this not working? So, anyway. Yes. Well, well, I, I, I don't know, Will. What happened to Will? Nothing. No, he just made a comment. I just responded. What's he saying? No. You don't know what he's saying. Yes, I do. I don't care to repeat. Oh, okay. And he's picking on Denny. Well, it's because he says you've been picking on him lately. You want to talk with Denny? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got a big head now because he's been on two weeks in a row, that picture. He's been on a show. So, <laughs> don't. Let me talk. Let me tell you what's going on. What's going on, Rich? Sean McIntyre let us know about this, okay? Saturday, October 14th, from 2 to 5 p.m. That's it's a two days. It's a monster bash, not the one in Pennsylvania where I'm going, but it's called the Monster Bash at USA Bank Plaza, downtown. By the, it's an event by the Cleveland Playhouse. I don't know what's going on, but I guess it's a free event by the Mon by the Cleveland Playhouse organization. Monster, ba monster Bash at U.S. Bank Plaza. That's this Saturday, from 2 to 5 p.m. Okay. Uh... Friday 13th at the Akron Civic Theater. This was, Denny, you might go to this one. Pints and Pies, Craft Beer and Pizza Festival. Does that sound good? Oh. Pints and Pies at oh. the Akron Civic Theater. That's right. John there. Rain. John Rain. What's he's, he a, doing? he's a pie guy. That's James Schultz. That's what I said, guy. James Schultz. Yeah. He's a pie guy. Shout out to John Rain. He's having some tests on today. Hope everything works out for you there, John. Schultzy. Schultz, I had to go them over here to show it until I get it down to the main studio. Rance is tuned in. Hi, Rance. Hi, Rance. Raven is turned in. Raven, I just did a shout out to you earlier. I might see you next weekend, buddy. I'm going to be looking for you. I'm going to keep the eyes looking for you. You're coming to Foy's. You're coming to the Fairborn Festival. Um, i going to shoot some stuff. I'm going to bring my little camera. We'll get some uh, Raven going on here. Honoring the Dr. Week. Creep Show. That's next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. I'm making, I'm, ooh, I'm making a, I'm making a trip down there. I'm gonna. That's oh. a bucket list. That's a bucket list. Fairborn. Uh, yeah, uh, I, Fair, I won't be on that bucket though. Well, you get your own bucket. You're kicking the bucket. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm this joke. I hope not, because I don't know. I have anybody help me out here. Um, what was I yet? Yeah, yeah, about? Oh, the pints and pies at the pints and pies. Yeah, that sounds good, right? Uh, Saturday, October twenty-first. Okay, from eight p.m. to whenever, whenever. Okay, it's one of them whenever. The Nostalgia Lounge Arcade Bar in Minter. Okay, it's a mouthful. Eighty-four, eighty-four Minter Avenue. So at least it's our main drag. They're having that is the main drag. Yeah. Okay, they're having their nostalgic Halloween party with Skeleton Slammers. I guess that's a drink for five bucks. Sounds like a drink. Yeah, skeleton, skeleton Slammers. slammers. And they're having their best. Um, best dressed costume award uh, ceremony. Best dressed costume contest. So that's uh, that's coming up. So that's a big deal, right? Costume contest, start winning some money. Triv, get that one out of the basin with the claw. You can go win some money with that one. Um, that's not all, Denny. That's not all. That's so not right. all? There's more? Yeah. Monday, October 30th at 630, the Halloween Bash at Brunswick Skate Station. So if you like the skate and they got all the music and the lights and all that, they got the Halloween bash coming up to the Brunswick Skate Station this Monday, October 30th. You know, I don't work out when I skate. What, you fall? I need three. Three skates? Yeah, Why? one for each leg and one for my ass because I always end up on it. Uh, no, not a skater. You can't 
can't see. I can't see it either. Yeah, I was I just, it looks so easy when you get out there, but it's not easy. Raven said Friday the 13th, she will be there, and, or he will be there and has a surprise up his sleeve. Oh, well, I won't be there. I won't, when will I be there? No, oh, I won't be there until 21st. Yeah. Keep that surprise. Yeah, keep the surprise know, up your sleeve. You're wearing sleeves, it's going to be cold, right? So. But I'm going to, I'm, you know. That'll stop. It may not be that We'll hook up. You're right. Um, where am I? Oh, October 28th, 27th, 28th, actually, but somebody just said 28th. Skyway Drive-In in Warren, Ohio, the Sinister Horror Festival, sponsored by Dead Link Apparel. I guess it's kind of like a free kind of horror convention thing at the drive-in. But it's during the day, though, because it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the hours are on here during the day is all I know. But so it's Skyway Drive-In in Warren, Ohio. Chris Cross probably knows more about that than me. Um... What? Break in the action? Yes. Just to say, the tire out this Friday, tomorrow. Yeah. I think it's tomorrow. What's yeah, tomorrow? Friday, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, Amanda and Jeff's wedding anniversary. Really? Yeah. Tomorrow's the 13th? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow's the 13th? Yes, it is. And it's their anniversary? That's, just, that's what she said. And it must be making a lucky day. Well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Mm. Hope you have a, what the, how's the song go? Happy anniversary to you. I don't, I don't know. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, guys. From the whole yeah. Midnight Movie gang. Hope even, Jeff's doing well. Even Vern. Yes, we do. We hope Jeff's doing well. Hope you're doing well. If you guys celebrate and watch the Midnight Movie, I expect from Little do you know, but her husband may have gave, given some of you out there, please, the ticket. Oh, oh, oh he was a cop. No, he was a nice cop, though. 44 years. 44 years. Wow. wow. You got married when you were 10? Wow, wow, wow. That's a long time, 44. I've got 38, so she's, mm, that's good. Yeah, about 44, a long time. Oh, uh, what else are we doing, Denny? Oh, you know, you know, we need a number between 9 and, you know, For all your 900. gaming needs, make sure you go to the Great Lakes Game Emporium and see John. Oh, yeah. And her. Hey, you know, last week I talked about uh, Amazon came out with it, like, old-style catalog. You know, like you used to get from Sears or whatever. You know what? And you go through it and you circle your gifts. There was a, uh, that that big conglomerate store that's out there. It was really no. big. They had a catalog out there. Oh. Like, yeah. You mean, Walmart. I mean, oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's right here. Oh. Walmart's coming out with their own, too. Now, look at that. So, look, the old times are coming back. Just like, you know, I mean, they know that was good stuff. Oh, and I, I, I want to mention this. Here's a rare film. That, it's called House of the Wolfman. And what's unique about it, it's got Frank Science Monster, Dracula, a ghoul, a mad doctor. Look, I mean, a witch. We talked about witch Wicked. today. Uh, and the Wolfman. The Wolfman in this is played by Ron Chaney. Ron Chaney Jr.'s wow. grandson played this. Now, this version that I have, I didn't get to watch it because it sticks. Right in the best part, so I didn't get to see the whole thing. But if you get get your hand on that, it's pretty cool. And Ron Chaney playing his grandfather's role as the Wolfman in some very good Wolfman. Makeup. Raven Raven offers up page thirteen. Page thirteen. I don't know. No. What? I, and the answer will state no. I don't keep track. It's a random number, and there's more than one thing per page. So don't. don't yeah. Uh, you, know. you know what? Right. We've done well, this page. Well, well, well. Raven, give me another page. We did this page. Is there another? We did both things on this page. Oops. Give yeah. me another page. Give me another page. Come on, Raven. Nine to nine hundred. Nine hundred. Oh. That's really high. We don't go nine hundred. Oh, okay, nobody does. Nine hundred has got a schedule. Page seven. Come on, what, what, Raven. You got more figures than that? Yeah, seven. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is called. The Abe Burroughs Almanac. Abe Burroughs Almanac. Okay. Oh, that was a TV comedy, show? Comedy variety show, 1950. Look, 1950. How was TV back then? Like, they didn't have many yeah, shows, did they? Yeah, that was... So let's see what this is about. Does it say if it's ABC, NBC, or whatever? It does. It says, uh, CBS. 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 It was on from 9 to 9.30 on Wednesdays. Half-hour show. Half-hour show. Abe Burroughs and it starred Abe Burroughs. Denny. Will. You guys got something going on? Denny! You guys ought to get a room. You and Will. <laughs> Be a big room, though. 
Real yeah. big group. <laughs> Bill and I are good. Uh, Abe Burroughs, which I've never heard of Abe Burroughs. Never heard of Abe He was a comedian. Anybody know any of his jokes? Abe Burroughs jokes? Yeah. Abe Burroughs? Yeah. Uh, I also had Milton DeLug. Milton DeLug, DeLug and his orchestra. Milton the DeLug. Milton DeLug. And his orchestra? And his whole orchestra. And that was all the people around there. Now here, oh, here we go. This live variety series starred comedian Abe Burroughs, the bald-headed baritone from Brooklyn. That yeah. was his catchphrase. I'm the bald-headed baritone from Brooklyn. That ain't nothing. Hey, I'm the bald-headed, uh, I don't know, yeah, from baritone yeah. from Cleveland. So that could be just like him. But anyways... He chatted with orchestra leader Milton DeLug and welcomed different guest stars each week. For a half hour, time we got started, this, this, our show's longer than that. This show's longer than that. Burroughs had hosted two short-lived radio series in the late 1940s, but his greatest fame came as a writer-director for radio. Wow, right? So they gave him a chance on a TV show. We know his two radio shows didn't even make it, so that's stupid. But he did Duffy's Tavern. Guys and Dolls, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and the Solid Gold Cadillac on the radio. It says he was selected for two Pulitzer Prizes. Yeah. Pulitzer Prizes. Yeah. Are you sure that's the right guy? Abe Burroughs. That, that's got American be... humorist, author and director for Are radio in the state. And he's, oh, so there you go. He when was nominated. The award was selected for two Pulitzer Prizes. He, he got, no, did he win the prizes or was he nominated? So he was selected. He selected. Only one which was awarded, so he won one. Okay, so he got a Pulitzer Prize. So look, but he only, in this book, he only got about five inches of type. That's all he has <laughs> One more. Let's do one more, Denny, because I'm in a good mood. Well, I, hey, don't forget to come see us at <clears throat> Cleveland Toy and Collectible Show, November 25th and 26th, right at the Best Western Plus. We're going to be there, and a bunch of our friends like Drak and Curry, yeah. Dad, all they're going to be there. We're going to have fun right after Thanksgiving, so you can bring your Thanksgiving, you can do your Black Friday shopping right there. Right there with us. You can shop and buy all our stuff. Raven, Raven still hasn't gone to his... Uh, other parts of the body, just his hands. He's up to nine. 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 They try nine. to be funny. They try to be funny. Number, number nine. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, go narrow, I'll go narrow down to picks next time. Uh, Ace Crawford. Ace Crawford. Private Eye. 1983. So this thing. This thing. Oh, okay. Ace goes on, uh, uh, what are you going to see? Uh, CBS, okay, Tuesdays, 1983. Ace Crawford was played by Tim Conway. Our very own Tim Conway. Wow. I don't even remember it. Um, also had Joe Rigobuto. Billy Barty, the little guy. Billy Barty from uh, the Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and a lot of other movies uh, with... Uh, who was Billy Barty with? Was we, no, that was Angela Rosito. But anyways, Billy Barty, the little guy. Billy, like Sarah Billy Denise, guy. Bill Henderson, and here's, here's a guy, Dick Christie. Dick Christie was in this. Or did you say Tom Conway? Tim Conway. Tim, Tim, Conway. Tim, 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 Tim. Raymond says, saying Tom Conway? I don't know. No, he said Tim Conway. That's what I heard wrong. Tom Conway's another guy. Actually, uh, Tim Conway's name was Tom Conway, but he had to oh, change it. there we go. That's because the there was already a that was the angle. Tim Conway. Tom Conway. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. so, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. we know well, our we got it, Raven. You got no, we didn't. Got we me. Got you because you no, don't know. No, but yeah, stuff I like this. Know. But yeah, you got it. Yeah, you can't yeah. pull a wool over my eyes. Uh, sometimes you can. <laughs> but just, just imagine Bogey, Sam Spade played for laughs, and you got Ace Crawford. Ace Crawford is that like Ace Ventura, that detective? Well, Ace is the place. Change it. Ace is the place. He was a hard-nosed private detective, attired in a trench coat. He was all business, all right? I can't picture Conway playing that role, but anyway, go ahead. Well, because it's played for laughs, though. Oh. Uh, it says right here, see, played for laughs. But he's looking the part, you know. Uh, but blind luck and fortuitous accidents, it's hard to say fortuitous, accidents were more responsible for his solving cases than his sleuthing skill. So it's kind of like a, um, like a, but Maxwell Smart. His incredible run of luck had given him an undeserved reputation and bought him a continuous stream of clients. It also made Ace irresistible to the ladies. Mm -hmm. Although he was usually too busy fumbling through cases to pay any attention to them. Oh, come on, man. Ace's bumbling part-time assistant, Toomey, a full-time CPA, idolized Ace and hung out with his boss at the shanty, a sleazy club on the wharf. 
course, that was operated by Billy Barty. This is midget Billy Barty. Oh, say that now. Oh, really? This book said midget, midget Billy Barty. We said little people. They're little people now. Come on. But he was the owner and bartender to Shanny, where Ace's not quite girlfriend Luana was a featured singer. But they got a lot going on in this thing. Uh, he never served tall drinks. So. Uh, no. Uh, also, there was Lieutenant Fanning, who couldn't understand how Ace seemed to solve difficult cases without any effort. Okay. Um, this was then. This was only a half hour show. All that went on in a half hour. It didn't last very long. It only lasted only lasted a couple months, March to April. That's not very long. Wow. That's one month. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> one month. Right, right, right. So I couldn't yeah. get that many episodes of it. I don't know how many episodes, but um, wow. you know, Tim Conway never could get, after Mikkel's Navy, he could never get anything started again. And he was hilarious. Yeah. So you get on the Carol Burnett show. That's where he finally, you know, latched on. But, well, Denny, that's well, about Danny, it. We almost went an hour today, man. Well, Wow. We're having fun. We're, people are having okay. fun. People oh, are, everybody has a great weekend. Yeah. Yep. And did you guys see Alf? We even got Alf out here, so blast from the past. Have a great weekend. And next week we'll do some more in the Halloween, you know, in the Halloween mumbo. You'll never know what will be coming up. No. If you got any ideas. We don't for, know. <laughs> if they have any ideas for something they'd like us to play around with, just contact us at midnightmovie.net. You know, can and email us there. If you have an idea for this show. We'll we'll do it. We'll do it live. We won't we're take like, it, but you we're like old school TV. We're live. 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 So anyways, while Denny continues to be live, I'm going yeah. to saunter out and sneak over to the Thank game. you, Miss Amanda. She says have a great weekend. You, you guys do. too. Have a great weekend. You guys weekend. enjoy your uh, anniversary tomorrow. Oh, so. happy anniversary, yeah. baby. Got you on my mind. Dr. Ed, you're well. Will and Raven and... And Triv is probably back at work, and oh you know, my, uh, mm -hmm. Chris, you know, in where he's the, the great world traveler. That's what I was looking for. There's our skit DVD. You can get that too. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, we have skit DVD. We're starting to run out of those, though. Yeah, I know. And we have to come up with some more. So anyway, everybody have a great weekend. See you in a week. <laughs>